Hey guys, I'm Gage. And I'm Adam. And this is a Beaver Fever Juice review. And today we're reviewing Witchcraft by Dark Sky Vapors. It's a black cherry vanilla ice cream with some whipped cream in there. Right. It's pretty good. We woke up to a blast of winter, so I mean... Yeah, it finally hit us for like four here. weeks late. It's yeah. cold inside, damn it. Yeah. So yeah, a little, uh, little upset. I like snow. I, I can enjoy snow. If it could snow and be plus 20 outside oh, and not be, be wet... Like, you yeah. know what? Like, I'm actually really excited I want the snow. Like, you know what I did today? I did the first donuts of the season. Just saying. Gage is excited because you can do donuts now behind Winfield. Well, you don't tell them where you <laughs> Of course you do. Now they know where to go to do donuts. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Mom did that one time, Jordan. Your mom did? Yeah, we went back That's there. That's awesome. We went back there and she started sliding, so she just hit the gas. She's like, I've always wanted to do a donut. Well, I'm already halfway there. <laughs> exactly. I've always wanted to do donuts. There was this guy, like, I don't know if he was in the school or what he was doing, but he was looking at me, like, hard. He was sitting in his car behind the school. Maybe he was trying to get stoned, and I was like, he's <laughs> doing donuts. He's going to the area. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Gage is just ruining stoners' lives. Oh, the car <laughs> slide's so good, though. <laughs> yeah, your winner's on? Oh, yeah. I've had them on for like three weeks, man. At least somebody's prepared. All right, guys, so before we get into this uh, this witchcraft by Dark Sky Vapors, we're going to talk about some hardware. Gage, you go first, because I'm pretty basic on this. Oh, okay, I was looking at you like you were going to go. Um, I got my Tesla Invader 3, as always, and I picked up... I've had this for a little while, I just haven't used it in a video yet. I got the Geek Vape Eagle, which is essentially... An Eagle is just like a sub-ohm tank version of the Griffin. Basically, Have you not used the Eagle before? I thought you had the Eagle in video. I don't think so. Um, but basically, the way that this works is the Griffin by Geek Vape is an RTA, so you have to make all your own coils. Where the way that this works is you just go online or into any vape store that sells them, and they sell coil heads for the Eagle. But the coil heads are like hand-built dual Claptons. And like right now, I have a notch coil in here, and I've never used notch coils before, but the flavor is coming they were, through really and good they on heat that. up really fast and they just and all it is by the looks of it because i looked up one earlier it's just like a piece of metal with notches out of it and then two wires coming off the end yep go into the it's like a tube with some slits cut in it that you put your cotton through and i mean i never really understood them until i used them but it's actually a lot simpler than i thought it was like i don't know I feel like they wick really nice they do yeah. they do because it's just like a tube but you know what the problem I had with them is that the little leads that they put on them are really thin. So when you put your cotton through, they want to bend. They want to bend. And which other than which that, leads to possible breaking. But Yes. What do you got, Adam? Me? I got the usual Triton V1 Clapton coil in there, 0.5 ohms. K-Box 200, run at 50 watts today. Great flavor on it. You know, try to keep it simple. Plus I make a good, you know... Medium. No, this is what it always it's tastes like. It's the control. Like. Yeah. This is what it always tastes like out of Adams. Did I tell you last time that my K-Box died? Yep. Okay. Yep, he did. He my K-Box died. I know, I'm sad, man. It's okay. You need a hug? Vegeta's here for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dark Sky Vapors. They have a simple bottle, but it works really well. Yeah, it's one of those simple squeeze bottles. You take the cap off, flip it upside down, and just squeeze till she's full. Yep. Um, it's, uh, I like it's those bottles. Yep, I like those bottles. They honestly make filling super easy. It's definitely childproof. Yeah. Um, the you... label is super simple. They just uh, they have like these boxes on the back, and essentially they're just for Nick strength. It's zero to twenty four, and for VG it's twenty to max. And they just kind of mark out whatever whatever that bottle is. And so, like, really, they take a sharpie. <clears throat> It's smart, because you don't have to print out, what, like, four different kinds of labels every time you make a different Well, yeah, strength. exactly. They just print out a thousand labels yeah. and marker it in. Yep. Um, it's got some art on it. Uh, Adam fucked this up last time, so I'm going to handle this one. It's got a chick, it's got a witch, with, like, a cardigan and some kind of lingerie. There's a book with some kind of weird... Adam called them tentacles, but I'm not going to call them tentacles. I'm they're gonna tentacles! Call them. They are not! Those are... What they're else magical they... tendrils! Yeah, that's what I was about to say. They're magical tendrils. They're same tendrils. Shit. Thank you very much. They're not the same thing, bud. They're not suction cups. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, guys. The bottle's simple. It's child-proofed. 
The, oh, the one thing about them is I feel like I'm gonna break them whenever I... We definitely should do like a, a strength test one day. Squeeze them and see if they ever break. I don't think they will, but we could try. We could try our very hardest. Yeah. You know what would be worth trying is in the cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at Jordan, all these great ideas. Look that's why that. we keep him around. Yeah. <laughs> not because he can use a camera or edit things or... It's definitely not because he's a nice fucking person, that's for sure. Because I'm not. No, he's really not. <laughs> He's not. So guys, we're gonna talk about some uh, some black cherry vanilla vanilla ice cream. Yeah, witchcraft. It's uh, it's not bad. It's got some Cool Whip on top. Apparently, it's like, I don't I don't really taste the Cool Whip. No, you don't get but, much of the whipped cream. But it, it is there, I guess. Like you, to me, it's like eating a bowl of black cherries with like a little scoop of ice cream on top, and maybe like I don't know, like an, an ounce of whipped cream, which isn't a lot when you think of an ounce cup. It's not a lot. Of it's cream. like a, um, it's like a black forest cake. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like yeah, eating a black forest cake, with like a scoop of ice cream. And like, it took me about a day for like for this juice to kind of grow on me, but like, I really like how you get the cherry. It's super strong cherry, like yeah, right? and the cherries like kind of paired nicely with the vanilla ice cream, so yeah. it's not. It's like a bitter and sweet at the same time. Give a shot of that. Off those notch think, coils, yeah. dude. I think it could be sweeter. Like I feel like it they added a bit more vanilla. It definitely could be sweeter. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know. Would it be less cherry or more vanilla? Probably less cherry, I'd say. But then it, I don't know because you don't get a lot of the vanilla. So maybe add more vanilla, a little less cherry. But I, it's not wow, bad. Wow, the like, cherry comes through oh, there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and like on yours, like it, it's still super strong cherry, but you get like you get the hint of this vanilla. This is almost on. straight cherry. That has that you can definitely get the vanilla. Oops, sorry, Adam. Um, could it have been better? Whoa, now. No, no, could it have been better? Popcorn. Yeah. But I mean, it's not awful juice either. Like, it's probably like a solid five or six out yeah, of ten. Like, it's right give in it the a middle. Five, I'm not totally in love with it. Like, I don't know if I'd like rush out and buy another bottle of it. And it's definitely I wouldn't call it a vape all day juice. Especially no, it's not definitely for me. not. No. <laughs> It's more like a vape for this review juice. For yeah, me. like in the evening, or like uh, you know what you know what it paired really nicely with was twisted tea. Oh, yeah. It was awesome, dude. Friday night, Whoa. twisted tea. Oh, Gage, this stuff's bad for you. It's bad for your manly soul. It turns you into a woman. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> that's where it went. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's not bad stuff. It's not terrible. I don't like it that much, but it's it's okay. It's sweeter. If you're watching this, whoever owns Dark Sky, I don't know who the hell it is. I don't know, it's Canadian made though. Canadian, which is good. Yay, Canada. If you're watching this, maybe a little bit more vanilla. Maybe some more vanilla, just to kind of add a sweetness to it. Like, it'd be really nice if the vanilla came through at the end, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, because like, it's, like, I get cherry, and then cherry, where if it was, like, cherry on the intake and vanilla, vanilla on the outtake, yeah, it would be... Yeah. that would be... Then it, then I'd give it, like, a solid eight. I, I don't know I don't know how you make juice or how you do shit like that, but... If I you, don't know. Yeah. We need to go see Greg Steele is what we need to do. We should make our own juice. Except we couldn't call it beaver. Well, we could call it beaver fever. Maybe. Well, we could call the line beaver fever. I don't think Daniel would mind horribly. Get back to us on that, Daniel. Yeah, maybe we'll make our own juice. Maybe. We could try it. I don't think it's that hard, honestly. It's It'll taste like beaver. So, guys, this has been another Beaver Fever Juice Review. I'm Gage. And I'm Adam. Today we were talking about Witchcraft by the Dark Sky Vapor Co. It's a uh, black cherry vanilla ice cream with some whipped cream on top. And it's, like, solid 5 out of yeah, 10. It's, it's, it's solid not five. awful. It's not the best. But, I mean, you could vape it. You can. It's good, like, it's good to vape it. If you're, like, black cherry, because I got a super strong black cherry off it, you'd probably like this. The, like, four of you out there that like black cherry, this is for you guys. Yep. yep. Uh, we want to give a huge shout out to uh, everybody on the social media. That's uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find us at beaverfever underscore NB. And uh, also a huge shout out to, uh, well, it's not real. we're going to shout out a store. We're going to recommend Vapor Trends to everybody in North Bay. You can go in there. And John, or the new guy Adam, I don't know his last name, but John or the new guy Adam will be able to help you with all your vaping needs. Yeah, the super nice guy, super easy to talk to, and actually uh, my sister-in-law, Jordan's 
uh, fiance. fiance, fiance, uh, went there and talked to Adam, and Adam told her everything she needed to know about vaping, and now she's on vaping. Very, Yay! very knowledgeable people in there. Oh, That's... definitely. So yeah, super shout out to you guys. You're great, and you just got another person off the cigarette. Congrats. Seems better. Um, yeah. So I want to say thank you to Jordan real quick. Uh, thank you for being our cameraman, letting us use your space, being a great editor. You're great. I love you. You're the best. Will you unchain me from the table now, Jordan? No. Put put down the heart. He's not going to set us free yet. Damn it. Um, I used the I love you and everything. I know. Family, family pulls there, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, guys, have yourselves a great evening. Don't forget to like, comment. Oops. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. And uh, don't punch the mic. Don't punch the mic. Keep her cloudy. Have a good day, have guys. Have a good one. <laughs> you caught that too. Oh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Hold on, man. Every fucking butt cheek clap. <laughs> That's a real ass flapper if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, a fart is actually your ass cheeks clapping, commending your bowels, and doing a great job. Nothing better than a fart, except maybe kids falling off of bikes. I could watch kids fall off of bikes all day. I don't give a fuck about your kids.